Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com and SoapQueen.com. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Soap Queen TV. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a super creamy shaving soap recipe. This soap creates a creamy lather that protects skin from razor burns. The key to creating shaving cold process soap recipes is using oils that boost lather. This recipe contains 15% castor oil, which is a thick oil known for creating awesome bubbles. Coconut oil also adds to the lather, while avocado and cocoa butter give moisture and density to the bubbles. For this project, I'm pouring the soap batter directly into plastic bale jars. If you're using a different container for the soap, make sure to choose a jar that will not rust in the shower or contain any metal that is reactive with lye. Because the soap will not be fully exposed to air on all the sides after pouring into the mold, it will not cure very quickly. To help the curing process along, I'm using a 15% water discount in this recipe. The water discount combined with the bentonite clay does cause trace acceleration, which is why I'm keeping this very simple with no layers or complicated design. Bentonite clay provides a slip feeling on the skin and helps razors glide easily. For these shaving soaps, I'm going to be using an essential oil blend that I created for my brand new book, Pure Soap Making. This book contains recipes made with all natural colorants and essential oil blends. I'm using a fresh combination of spearmint and patchouli essential oil. If you have sensitive skin, you may want to consider skipping using fragrance or essential oil in this recipe. I'm not using any colorants in this recipe, but you could add them if you'd like. Now, if you've never made cold process soap before, I want you to stop right now and watch the first four free episodes on how to make cold process soap on Soap Queen TV, or read the first several chapters of my book, Pure Soap Making. It's important to learn how to use lye safely and get a few recipes under your belt before you attempt this soap. Now I'm gonna gear up for safety. I've got my long sleeves on, closed toed shoes, wearing long pants, and I'm putting on my gloves and my safety goggles. Goggles are so important. They ensure that no lye or fresh soap splashes into my eye during the soap making process. I'm soaping in an area that has great ventilation, no children or pets around, so they don't have access to the space. Now it's time to prep our essential oil blend. Measure 0.4 ounces of spearmint essential oil and 0.6 ounces of patchouli essential oil in a glass container. Set this aside. I'm also going to open up all of my bale jars so they're ready to pour my soap into. I've combined my oils and I've also prepped my lye water. Both my lye water and my oils are right about 120 degrees. If you'd like, you can add sodium lactate to the lye water to expedite the hardening of the soap. Sodium lactate is the sodium salt of lactic acid and is commonly used as a preservative in food products. For soaping purposes, it facilitates the hardening of the bar and thus eases the unmolding process. It's an optional step, and it's not necessary, but it sure doesn't hurt. The usage rate is one teaspoon of sodium lactate per pound of oils in your recipe, so we're just gonna add one teaspoon. Normally, I like to add my colorants, my additives, and any essential oils to my soap at Trace. But for this recipe, I'm adding a full one tablespoon of the bentonite clay directly to my melted oils. Once added, stick blend the bentonite clay to disperse it in oil and eliminate any chunks. Normally, clay is dispersed in distilled water and added to cold process soap at Trace. But in this case, I didn't want to add any extra water into my recipe because the soap is curing in jars. So I'm adding the clay directly to the oils. Once the clay has been added and fully mixed into the oil, carefully add the lye water and the oils together by pouring the lye water down the shaft of the stick blender. I do this because it helps to prevent air bubbles. You really want to get those air bubbles to the surface before you start mixing so your batter is nice and smooth. Alternate pulsing the stick blender and using the stick blender to stir the mixture. Continue stick blending and stirring until the soap reaches a thin to medium trace. 
This is going to happen rather quickly because the clay causes the soap to accelerate. Once you've reached a thin trace, add the essential oil blend and pulse in using a stick blender. Once the essential oil is incorporated, pour the batter directly into bale jars and fill it up to the very neck of the jar. Tap down on each jar firmly to get rid of any air bubbles. Spritz the top of each soap with 99% isopropyl rubbing alcohol to avoid soda ash. Allow these soaps to cure for four to six weeks with the lid open. Once the soap is cured, lather the soap using a shaving brush and apply it to the skin. Shaving brushes make a huge difference, so I highly recommend using one with this soap. Anytime you'd be using shaving cream, you can always use this shaving soap. Thanks so much for joining me on this episode of Soap Queen TV. Until next time, happy soaping.